Hey there, we have an input element and if you enter something that is not a number, for example, hello, then it clears the input after one second delay. Now, how do we test this? We want to confirm that the timing is right. We want to confirm that up to one second, the input still stays there and only after one second, it clears. And we want to confirm that if you enter a valid number, then it just stays there. Let's get the input box. So I'm going to use its ID count and I'm going to type what I typed before. Hello, followed by the enter. Save a file, enters, and then after a second, it's gone. So the first thing I want to confirm is that the input stays with value hello for a while. So I can say wait 900 milliseconds and the input should still have value hello. Perfect. So we confirm that it's not cleared 900 milliseconds after we uh, enter hello. Then we want to confirm that it has a value of empty string, right? So we get it again and we'll say should have value and an empty string. Now we don't want it to wait up to four seconds because by default every command retries up to default command timeout, which is set to four seconds. Now we want to limit ourselves and say that it should have value somewhere around one second total. We already waited 900 milliseconds. So here we'll say you can retry, but only up to 200 milliseconds. And then the input should be clear. Okay. So if for example, our clearing happens after a second and a half, then this command, command really times out really quickly, catching this. Okay. Now, one last thing. So the input is clear. And if we type a valid number, like one, two, three, and wait, let's say 1100 milliseconds, then the value stays there. So you can say it should have value one, two, three. It's not cleared. Perfect. So this is how you can validate how fast your application is changing something by being more precise about timing out an individual command, waiting the appropriate period, and then checking the values again.